Finance department. Finance department. Uh, first, first section you have here is compensation, which um, <clears throat> year to year is actually down $28,000, and I'll explain why. Um, I, I currently have four staff members, uh, Paula Friedman, Kelsey Feeney, Kim Hendy, and Tracy Brinker. And uh, Paula has decided to retire. Uh, she'll actually be formally retiring in about two weeks. Uh, but she still like to work, so she's going to come back part-time. So I've actually shifted a portion of her wages to uh, part-time. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, we think we've gained some capacity over the last few years. I think uh, we have gained efficiencies with software, uh, compendies, contributed quite a bit to that. She's importing journal entries, so it saves man hours. So we think there's enough capacity so that we can actually reduce by about a half a person and uh, still make things work. So we're going to give it a shot. It looks like we'll save the town about 28000 uh, Furnishing equipment, that's just for minor purchases uh, that may be capitalized. Uh, computer equipment and leasing, uh, 4370. Those are license fees that uh, are passed on to us. Uh, Microsoft license fees, uh, Adobe, a few other ones uh, that, that Steve passed on, on to us. In, in prior years, it actually was included in the IT budget, but we we now have distributed those costs out to the various departments. Uh, seminars and conferences, uh, 5,500 for the year. It's up slightly from 2023. Uh, it includes things like the GFOA Conference, uh, Association of Towns, um, there's a permit conference that uh, I go to. And, uh, I've actually built in some additional monies for the staff. Because the staff uh, like to attend some training as well, and I think it's smart to, to keep them educated, and uh, it's always good to, to get with your peers and share ideas. So that's up 1,300 year to year. Uh, the financial software tools, that includes uh, software that we use for fixed assets inventory. We have been on an old, outdated program, so actually this year we had an access database built for fixed assets, which is working pretty well. Uh, so I built in some money for maintenance there, I think about $1,300. Uh, and it also includes software called Lease Crunch. Uh, we have to comply with uh, GASB 87. <clears throat> GASB stands for Government Accounting Standards Board. They set uh, the standards for accounting for all governments. And uh, beginning last year, uh, we had to account for leases and calculate the present value of each lease. And there's a series of journal entries that have to be booked at the end of the year for those leases. So. There's a software tool there which <clears throat> costs about 3000 a year, uh, which, which helps us with that there. Under financial consultants, I've got that flat year to year. That includes uh, things like municipal solutions. Uh, it also has lifetime benefit services <coughs> in there, which handle our HSA and, and HRA accounts. Uh, so there's a fee for that office supplies. It's been trending up slightly, so I raised it about $300 year to year, so we're about 5900 uh, Machine lease, uh, the uh, copy release. Uh, we have a, we have a, it's actually a printer copier. Uh, we lease through Xerox. We pay a small monthly fee, and we pay per, per copy. Under software license fees, 74000 This is paid to Tyler Technology. Uh, they, they actually host our financial software system, which includes everything from payroll to accounts payable to general accounting. Uh, we decided last year to actually move it to their hosted system. Uh, it formerly had been on our servers, and uh, so far it's working well. Computer system maintenance is the annual fee that we pay to Munis. Uh, that is for support for the software. That's about 7,500 a year. Uh, there's some small bank edit <coughs> fees. Uh, 
direct your out-of-pocket out expenses is things like mileage. And I also have some software conversion costs. I did budget $3,000. Uh, that's for continued training on the Muni software product, which is through Tyler. We do have things come up from time to time, and I think it's smart to continue training and to maximize the efficiency of the software. And the other piece of my budget are the fees which are paid to our independent auditors, our CPA firm. We use Maple Mesker and Bar. Uh, we've been with them for a number of years. Uh, they do an independent financial audit. They do agreed upon procedure engagements for the town clerk and for the justice court system. And uh, last year they were required to do a single audit, <clears throat> which is a special audit that you're required to have for federal monies, uh, which, which basically entails the ARPA funds they could receive from the federal government. So since we spent over the $750,000 threshold, we had to have a single audit. So, so year to year those costs were up slightly. We're going to, we expect to pay about $38.5 for those four engagements in 2024. And that is the most of it. So year to year, year to year we're not, we're actually down year to year, mainly due to the uh, reduction in salaries. <clears throat> Any questions or comments? Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, I don't want to get us behind, but I'm going to, I'm going to ask one question. Sure. <clears throat> there is a line in there for those that are watching at home that you didn't go over, and it's a transfer from the sewer fund over that actually reduces your budget by sixty thousand. That's and correct. I think this transfer permeates into some of the other departments too. And I know a couple of years ago in aggregate, the sewer department was tithing, I'll call it, transferring over to the town departments in aggregate of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Right. I think it was two fifty five. Right. Um, and the concept behind that is that the, the sewer fund, the sewer department almost like a pseudo-enterprise fund uh, or utility. It's pseudo. It's not, we have not set it up as a utility over the years. But at a quarter million dollars a year, over 30 years, it's probably, I, I don't know if it was a quarter million back in 1990. Uh, but that $7.5 million that really was able to be um, utilized from the sewer department to come over and offset Departments uh, and the, the rationale is that the sewer department needs to use the finance department to send out bills. Uh, yeah, so. and right. insurance costs, things like that. We right. also offset a portion of yeah. insurance. And it, and I think my speculation has been in my research is that one of the attractions to maybe leadership back in the '90s in Webster to not get rid of the sewer plant when 30 other towns, and villages, and municipalities did and go to the county and said, this is a cash cow, we're, this is great, we're making money, we can use it as a tool to leverage and this and that. And I get it, I, I, I've been in business, but as we'll talk about later tonight, um, that cash cow gets <coughs> milked clean, doesn't it? Yeah. And then you gotta rebuild the sewer plant. Yes, we do. So I don't really know if that was a question as much as it was a comment. It was a comment. Okay. It's a line on my budget, so I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> and by the way, that transfer is now down to about one one hundred and fifty five thousand a year. Yes. So we have reduced it by about a hundred thousand. Yeah, I know that over the last couple of years. Last few years. The leadership of the sewer department has really been honest about can you explain why a quarter million dollars is coming out of my fund? And can we just explain why it was? Yeah. Anyway, thank you, Paul. You're welcome.